Sin is not just an act that you commit. It's not even a force. It's a nature. You cannot control that nature by cutting off a man's hand. You have to get to his heart. What mankind must have is a change of heart. You don't deal it from the exterior. It comes from the inside. Only Jesus Christ can do that. He was teasing my wife and I just before we came on and said, Islam allows four wives. He just corrected me, said, up to four. I said, well, <clears throat> Mr. D. Dot, Christianity only allows us one, so I had to get the best on the first shot. <clears throat> Not drinking alcohol is not enough. Just not gambling is not enough. Just keeping rules is not enough. Christianity is really not a religion. It's not a series of do's and don'ts. You cannot earn your salvation. He paid it at Calvary's cross totally and completely. We accept him. And then the nature of sin is broken. The person does not drink because he fears his hand will be cut off. Or his toes or his nose or whatever. But he doesn't drink because the desire is taken away. Nineteen eighty eight. I have sinned against you, my Lord. A tearful confession from televangelist Jimmy Swaggart, who says he's leaving the pulpit temporarily. Swaggart does not specify the sin, but his confession comes amid reports linking him to an admitted prostitute. It may be dark days for the Swaggart Church, but as the sky cleared, his congregation in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, were to turn out in force. Families anxious to show that their leader could come back with a clear conscience. It was only three months ago that they'd heard this. I have sinned against you, my Lord. And I would ask that your precious blood... Today they knew all the details. Swaggart had been with a New Orleans prostitute. And to a packed house of 5,000 people who listened with heads bowed, Swaggart prayed for forgiveness again. If he sees fit to me, for me to sweep floors in a mission, and I mean this, I'm not being self-serving, I mean it from my heart. In a little mission across the track, I would be honored to do anything for him and do it the rest of my life. The Swaggart ministry chose not to release pictures of the reverend that is most vociferous, but this sound tape gives some idea of the frenzy which followed. Don't look at the guilt, look at the blood, look God right in the eye, because Jesus has washed you and cleansed you, that's justification. Here's the hundred dollars, that man's got a pocket full of money. <laughs> If he takes all that money back to South, if he takes all that money back to South Africa, he's going to worsen the U.S. debt. Television evangelism in America is a huge money spinner and makes billions of dollars. But Swaggart sermons will no longer be seen live outside the United States because his expulsion from his mother church, the Assemblies of God, means he does not have access to international satellites. Swaggart himself is predicting a tough time and he is pleading for cash. He used to receive donations of around $500,000 a day since the scandal that has been halved. Now revenue commissioners are looking at the huge ministry which is one of Baton Rouge's biggest employers and they're investigating the Swaggart lifestyle. His home and plush furnishings inside cost millions. But Jimmy Swaggart is a survivor. His war cry now that God loves a sinner and in his own state at least, he could emerge even stronger than before. This is Michael McMillan for the One O'Clock News in Baton Rouge, Louisiana.